Yo, 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 guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to increase your FPS in Apex Legends using the NVIDIA control panel. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Also, a large portion of people that watch my videos are not subscribed, so make sure to subscribe. It's free. You can only change your mind. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. I'm making this video for a couple reasons. One, a lot of people have been switching to Apex from Warzone, and maybe they don't have a high as end PC, so on warzone they had to like jam down their settings or get some more fps so i'm making this video so in case they don't know how or why their game is lagging or getting input lag they can use this video to find out uh some maybe some solutions to why that might be and uh just to increase people's fps overall because i know a lot of people who might not have uh a high-end gpu nowadays since there's so many on the market so hopefully this video will increase your FPS in Apex Legends. So starting off, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, this is going to work. If you don't, then this is not going to work. This is just a disclaimer. If you do not have an NVIDIA graphics card, this will not help you. By right clicking on your desktop anywhere, click the NVIDIA control panel and this window will be brought up. Once that is open, you're going to go to adjust image setting and preview and make sure it is using advanced 3D images. Once you have that, you're going to go to manage 3D settings and you're going to go over to program settings. And right here, once it's done loading, you will see all the programs that you have on your computer. Now, if you do not see Apex Legends, don't leave a comment and be like, where, where, why can I find it? Where is it? If you don't see it, you can either load the game up and close it immediately and you will have priority in this list or leave it open and it will show up in this list or you can hit add which it right here and you will get a little window that will pop up if it gives it a second. Come on. As you see right here, you'll see recent programs used and you can find it in there. If not, you can browse and wherever you saved it or downloaded Apex, you can select it there. So once you do that, you're going to make sure it's selected and you're going to go to these settings. I just recommend copying all these for the best FPS and I'll try to explain why. So going down, you want to turn the uh, anastrophic filtering to off, anti-aliasing FFX AA off, anti-aliasing to uh, override any application setting. You can just go down there, select it. You want to turn anti-aliasing transparency off. You want to do the CUDA GPUs. You want to go to CUDA GPUs. You need to use these GPUs. You're going to go to GeForce, whatever your graphics card is, and select it and hit OK. Once it is done loading, you will get back to the screen. You want to go to multi-frame sampled AAA and turn that off. You want to go to open GL rendering GPU and you want to instead of hitting auto select, you just want to select your graphics card. Now the power management mode, you're going to select maximum performance. And for preferred refresh rate, you want to do highest available. I'll give you the highest refresh rate on any given like frame you have. Uh, shader cache, if this is an if you have you if you have Apex on an SSD, you want to have this on. If you are on a hard drive, you want to have it off. Texture filtering, you want to have that on. Uh, you want to allow filtering for negative LOD bias, you want to have that on. Uh, texture filtering quality, highest performance. Texture filtering optimization, you want to have that on. Reddit optimization, you want to have that on as well. And you want to have triple buffering off, vertical sync off because you don't want any input delay. And you want to select one pre-rendered frame. I'll give you the best FPS possible. And once you do that, you just want to hit apply. And there you go. Now I'll boost your FPS tremendously. Now, obviously, the lowest settings that you have in game will obviously help that. If you want to see a video of my personal in-game settings that I use for maximum performance and like, I don't know, you could say like what the pros use, but I, I'm not a pro, so I couldn't tell you that. But if you, if you want a video, I'll leave a pinned comment and just leave a comment or like the post and I will do a in-game like settings tutorial of what I use. But that's how you increase your FPS using the NVIDIA control panel. Hopefully this helps you out. Hopefully, uh, if you have a lower end PC, this will help you get some more FPS and you won't lag as much. And until next time, guys, peace.